Are you ready to buy a house in Charlotte, North Carolina? Do you know what the first thing you should do is? I'm going to tell you and give you the top three reasons why this is so important right now. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian Taylor and I'm the owner of Dreamline Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new videos that I release every week. The first thing you need to do when buying a house is to get pre-approved. You need to get with a lender and find out how much you can actually qualify for based on your credit, your income, and your debts. And there are a lot of lending options out there and there are a lot of choices. So if you need help with this, we have great lenders that we can get you in touch with. You can certainly call your bank or go with an internet lender. However, I wanna caution you if you decide to go down that road. These big banks and internet lenders are often so busy that it takes longer to get a loan done and many sellers prefer that the buyer is working with a local lender that can meet deadlines and knows the local market. So what are the top three reasons why you need to do this first? Reason number one, we have to know how much you can afford to buy so we're not wasting your time showing you houses outside of your price range. The last thing we'd ever want to do is for you to fall in love with a house that's priced at 400,000 and then later find out that you can only qualify for 300,000. That would be a huge letdown for you and you would be extremely disappointed if that were to happen. And knowing upfront how much you qualify for allows us to help narrow down your home search and make the home buying process so much smoother. Reason number two, we have to have a pre-approval letter in hand when submitting an offer. Without one, the seller just won't take you seriously. A seller wants to know that your offer is solid and having that pre-approval letter shows them that you've taken the necessary steps to show up ready, willing, and able to buy their home. And it's our job to protect you as well. So even if the seller was willing to accept your offer without a pre-approval letter, you could lose a ton of money in due diligence fees and other charges if you couldn't qualify for the loan after going under contract. And in the market that we're in right now where there's a severe shortage of inventory, most houses are selling in a matter of days with multiple offers. And if we submit your offer without a pre-approval letter, the seller is almost always gonna just throw that aside and not even take a look at it. Reason number three, getting pre-approved takes a lot of pressure and stress off of you and helps uncover any issues or surprises up front that you might need to address in order to qualify. So maybe you have a collection that needs to be paid off or maybe there's a debt that is getting in the way of your qualifying and by paying off that debt would actually allow you more buying power. And it's just simply best to get with a professional lender to take a look at your situation and make sure that you've checked off all the boxes before jumping into an offer. And at the end of the day, it's really peace of mind on your part. So get out there and call a lender. The process only takes about 30 minutes. And once you have that pre-approval letter in hand, then we can start shopping. I hope this video was helpful. And for more information on the entire home buying process, grab a free copy of my book, buying your dream home, where I break down all of the steps of the home buying process in a question and answer format. Just click the link below in the description and you can download the PDF version. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified when I release new videos every week. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.